Hello guys, hello fellow YouTubers. Good afternoon, good afternoon to my fellow YouTubers around the world. Good afternoon to you guys and welcome back to another episode of my coin collection videos. So in this video guys, we will be discussing about the cashless society whether is it good or bad and i will also discuss to you about the pros and cons of being a cashless society so without any further ado stay tuned so hello guys so this afternoon i'm just um, showing to you these um, old banknotes and some coins so just recently we because of this um, coronavirus pandemic crisis so a lot of changes happening in terms of the way we buy things the way we shop so a lot of the businesses at the moment are actually not accepting any cash or any coins for if you buy from the shops or let's say you buy a coffee so majority of them or 90 percent of them does not want your cash anymore they will prefer point uh, cashless by means of the um f post machine we call it f post here in australia so you just tap your card tap and go something like that so as you can see i've also got some old notes here from the philippines i'm not sure whether these are still under the circulation circulation or it's being demonetized now so here you go guys that's the 500 banknote bill from the philippines and i've got a couple of 1000 peso banknotes as well so there you go and some 20 20 peso note banknotes So I think this is um, Serios Minya, I think. And this one, 50, 50 notes. I also got some, this is actually a $2 coin in Australia. This is still under the circulation. And some $1 coins here so let's get back to the topic guys so actually um, legally uh, businesses or establishments um, they are not allowed to refuse accepting cash it's because it's under the money act and it is a legal tender so for example, in McDonald's, they are still accepting cash and coins if you go and buy something, provided that the staff will wear gloves every time they hold the money and they have to wash their hands. It's because that um, the banknotes and the coins, these are a good medium for for the bacteria or the virus to to stay and that can potentially transmit the the disease to the different individuals so nowadays you have to be very careful in holding this money so that's why a lot of the establishment does not want to accept cash anymore so what are the pros and cons of being a uh, what do you call that um, cashless society so 
one of the advantages of being a cashless society is of obviously if you go to the shop you don't have to carry your heavy loads of coins as opposed to you know um, you have a big wallet and then and it's also uh, a risk of security so you can also be robbed easily because you have this cash on your pocket or in your wallet whereas with the card you can just tap and go and then nowadays you can transfer money online in just seconds around the world so if you have got friends from germany or from philippines you can just transfer it through western union so in just a second then they can accept your cash and for the government a cashless society can reduce the incidence of money laundering and for people who are doing tax evasion but on the downside of this the cons of this is people got loss of their personal freedom so their so their personal data can be vulnerable to hacking if you are on the digital currency so there are there are a lot of hackers now in the in the in the internet so they can easily hack your money and for the authority let's say for the taxation department or in the philippines it's the bir so they can easily trace or confiscate your money online because the the government can put a freeze order on your bank so that they can actually get your money so that's one of the the disadvantages of being cashless and then if there's no internet there's no electricity or any power means no transaction so if there's a brownout or power outage in your area so obviously you have to wait for the power to come back before you can transact any any um, purchase online so there you go guys so hopefully you enjoyed my video this afternoon and please let me know what are your thoughts about being a cashless society because I think in Australia a lot of people here are not using their cash and I've heard that maybe in the year 2026 they the the banks or the central banks will no longer issue some legal tender notes or coins but for me personally I would still want to hold the the banknotes and the the cash because I, I want to really hold like a, a, a tangible asset rather than on the digital currency which it can easily disappear so so please comment down below guys what are your thoughts whether is it a good or a bad idea to be in a cashless society so thank you once again guys for your support for all my subscribers and for for all the new uh, people that's been seeing or watching my channel please feel free to subscribe like and share okay guys have a nice afternoon and see you on my next video bye bye